Hey, good afternoon. Richard here. Welcome to the shop again. Actually, we're not in the shop. We're in the spray booth. This is what I've been working on here. We got some cabinets that I'm painting black. I see them in the spray booth. This is actually a chicken coop. Yep, that's right. You heard me right. Back in the 70s, this used to be a chicken coop. You can see the wire there. I came in and just put plastic over everything. Added a couple lights up here. Uh, yeah. If you ever watched any episodes of Dexter, looks like his kill room. But uh, anyhow, this is my spray room. Nothing fancy. Working on these cabinets. Got a, lots of black. Everything is black. Today I'm second coating a bunch of shelves. This is my method for spraying shelves. I'm sure you've seen it other places, but uh, I hang them up on hangers. That way when I spray them, I can flip them around, get all sides of them, and then I hang them up here. I just put some conduit. So, I got a little fan here. Yeah, it's got a regular filter tape to the back of it. That's how I roll. This is where I'm spraying. It's another room, lots more plastic. You can see part of the old barn up there. I Man, I just plastic everything off. Try to keep some breeze out of here. I can turn on the heater. Let's turn around here. I got that little propane heater. When I'm done spraying, I'll fire that puppy up and just bake everything. But yeah, so I'm gonna get you to sit over here in the corner and I'll spray this little shelf. I got hung up here on my contraption. It's just a hook, goes up nice professional hangers they're like cheap at home depot put some hooks in the end of what you're painting right here i just hang them up that way it's on the side of a shelf you'll never see the holes this stuff makes a mess i got another little fan with the filter there you can see it catches a lot of the overspray out the side there and um, it's not doesn't go outside it goes into another part of the barn we'll see what happens but yeah i mean this place is a mess through them cardboard everywhere plastic off some stuff there got a few more shelves my hangers lined up uh, I'm not a painter I'm a carpenter I build shelves but uh, cabinets whatever and unfortunately they need to be painted so that's what I'm doing sit back and watch a couple very important put a respirator on Well, that's it. I got them all done. I didn't want to bore you guys anymore with watching me spray these things, but man, lined up, got them over here. Sorry about the lighting. The shelves, shelf, 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 everywhere. This video wasn't about really about painting the shelves or how to paint them because you probably don't want to take my advice. I just wanted to show you the way I do it. A little hanger method here. Anyway. I'm done with these guys and if you care I'll show you the spray rig I'm using 
That's a Graco 390. It says Nova. That just means you bought it at Sheridan Williams. I'm using some Benjamin Moore Super Spec. Yep, oil based paint. That is a mess. Mess. Look at all thinner. It's just horrible. Yeah. Quick little tour. I didn't clean up for you. This wasn't supposed to be a paint room tour of the day, but if you watch one of my old videos, that's the Graco X7 I bought. That's sitting over there. Uh, just a little table for random stuff when I'm mixing paint or something. Vacuum for when I sand something down. I got this propane heater. Like I said, I'm about to fire that thing up. Get it baking real good in here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of shelves. But anyway, this is my method. Yep, I'm in a chicken coop. And I'm using clothes hangers. I've only tricked 40 of you into subscribing to my channel, so I doubt I'll be getting one of those uh, awesome little spray contraption holding things to try out. So, till then, I'm going to be using this. It works fine. Uh, let's see what else the tips I got. Yeah, if you're going to spray, just know it's going to be a mess. So, put some plastic up something on the floor you'll be fine but that's all of them done getting out of here thanks for watching like and subscribe most boring YouTube channel thank you Robert for your input on that one and uh, let me know what you think if you got any tips for me spraying painting whatever I'll listen to it um, need all the help I can get learning something new every day thanks a lot Adiós.